Bat Boy, the musical. This production took months of planning, rehearsal, design, and execution. Over 4,000 man-hours of work were put into making Bat Boy the best production Freedom High School has ever seen. From the auditions, to rehearsal, to the set, to the final performance, every detail was tended to. We will go backstage and see exactly what went into making this masterpiece possible. Before we can see what went into making Freedom's production of Bat Boy, we first need to look at the history of the show itself. Bat Boy owes its existence to a series of articles that appeared in the Weekly World News in the early 90s. The tabloid printed several articles on a half-human, half-bat creature that was involved in many different acts. Some years later, writers Keith Farley and Brian Fleming teamed together to write a musical based on the character. They paired with Lawrence O'Keefe to write the music. Their goal was to create a show that was both zany and entertaining, but also deep and profound. They incorporated many styles of music, ranging from gospel to rap to rock. No detail was too small. They did not create the show to be a parody, although there are many familiar themes to quote the authors, but together they created a show that was both comic and tragic, and examined themes dealing with racism and acceptance. Bat Boy the Musical premiered on Halloween of 1997 in Los Angeles. Since then, it has developed a devoted following worldwide. A New York production was staged in 2001, and the London production in 2004. Fast forward to 2008, Freedom High School. The previous musical here, Godspell, had just ended, and a new musical is needed for the next year. But this time, there would be a little difference. The kids have asked for a long time to do a fall musical. A fall musical. That's right. This time, the next musical would be happening in the fall. With the time picked out, all that was left was to pick a show. So that if we're going to do a fall show, it, it really needs to be a small show. Although the show's ended up being a lot bigger than I thought it would be. This was a great choice given the time frame. Our audience here at Freedom will appreciate it because it's around Halloween. It's scary, but it's funny. They'll like it. And just like that, it was set. The next show to grace the FHS stage was to be Bat Boy. Of course, there was a long way to go. The top priority being a cast. Audition started. Um, my name is Trina Guzman, and I'm singing the nicest. The auditions took place over three days, with the first two being devoted to vocal auditions. Over 50 people auditioned for roles, but only a fraction of them could be cast. Your favorite? Oh. My name's Ashley Simpson, and I will be singing Bat Boy. I will be singing, um, Good morning, Baltimore from Hairspray. My name is Trevor House. I will be singing One Blaze Glory from Rent. Not all auditions went well, and some went better than expected. I auditioned for Bad Boy because I love musical theater, obviously. And um, I thought it would be a really good musical to be in. It's very entertaining, um, keeps you on the edge of your seat, very suspenseful. I just really wanted to be a part of that. So many dreams to earn. But even if I crash and burn ten times a day. I auditioned for Bat Boy because my freshman year I did You're in Town. It was my first musical and it ended up being one of the best experiences ever. And then every year after that, it just kept getting better. And last year's musical Godspell was the best, like the greatest thing I could have asked for. And I just hope that this would be even better. When I was younger, just a bad little kid. My mama noticed funny things. Yeah, the process was really nerve-wracking. Um, I was not very confident going into the audition. I had done. trouble looking, finding a song, and even when I found the song, it was just like, is this the right song? Am I, am I going to be able to sing this? But going in there, I had a lot of fun with it, and um, I walked out feeling better than I had going in. You'll be a dentist. You have the talent for causing things pain. Son, be a dentist. I always remember that one because it's People pretty much my favorite musical that I've ever heard. It's just so twisted and the story is just so odd that you don't really see it that often, which is why it's so In athletics, it's not difficult if one has a temperament. Apparently, I have a temperament. I don't really know this because Shelly is kind of an easy character to play. I mean, there's really not a lot to her and her voice is just 
a lot of people are starting to come out with that voice, so I was really scared that I wouldn't get it and it would go to someone that I didn't even know. And I won't because I don't have to, um, but... Well, I've kind of had experience with the show before, like I, I've seen like and heard songs from it. I know the, the cast album pretty well. It's a really good show, like I've, I've known the story for a while, but it's just so goofy and like just irreverent and it's like it's almost like an episode of the simpsons or something it's, it's crazy you know and where else can you in, in a show like have the chance to be half naked on stage and eat gnaw on a cow head and kill your own father it's, it's pretty cool Lord, but when i take my stand martini glass in hand the rescue that you've got planned must be aborted let me drown this evening let me drown if i'm blue let me truly play the cloud let me shudder, let me sink, let me teeter on the brake, let me drown, 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 drown. <laughs> After all the vocal auditions, all four observers debated endlessly over just who they'd see again. But again, though, mid character, mid movement, I mean, she lights up where she's standing, so she's got power. All things aside, I would still roll that one back. Uh, number 28. Is number 28. Yeah, 28, 29, and... He really impressed me. This is the best he's... Yeah, the oh, best... Oh, me yeah. too! Once he got into the singer, I was like, oh, wow. Like, wow, we, we've, we've come a long way. Yeah, yeah. we have. That's why I call her back too, why not? Which... which number, number four, uh, if, if, if I don't, I think y'all... It was important to find number. just the right person for each role. The vocal auditions yeah. narrowed the search, but it wasn't until you, the callbacks that the search I, I really... I know what you're getting into with this show. If you happen to be a, have a nice conservative religious background, that is wonderful. And uh, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with faith. Faith's an important thing. Faith gets most of us through the day. But I don't want you to feel like you have to take a role and then you read the part and go, my Jesus doesn't want me to see that. <laughs> so I many people read many roles, but for some, it was immediately obvious that they were suited for the part. Well, this will put one. This will put one of us out of our misery. Thomas, no! What? <laughs> Don't. Well, why not? Please. What? Let him live. He's just a boy. You know what this is, don't you? Yes, I know. You could save him if you wanted to, couldn't you? You could make him fall down. Are you kidding me? The ranchers would go nuts. They're already blaming their problems on anything that you think of. But if you wanted to... I can hear it now. Burn, bad boy, you freak bird! Hey boy, you did me, you'll pay! You'll pay hell, you pay! <laughs> you look like you're ready to go to the dance hall in Wheeling. Uh, may I have a pleasure, Michelle? Why, I'd be delighted, Mr. Edgar. And finally, after much deliberation, the final cast list was made up.